Maybe it's a whiff from a meat processing plant here in East Vancouver, or the strong smell of garbage, or a burning chemical smell. Where you reside and what you smell can affect the way you live your life. Right now it's a little fishy, um, a little bit like sewage and garbage. So those are the, the fun smells I'm experiencing as I'm visiting. <laughs> like maybe it smells like dog pee <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, I feel like it's worse when it's a little warmer. In some part of downtown, like, it does get smelly sometimes. I will avoid those areas. Understanding the odors we smell in the places where we live has been the goal of a UBC project for the past four years. The fact is, odors matter a lot. They're not just a nuisance. They affect property prices. They affect your quality of life, whether you can use your patio or not. So it's a very important uh, factor in decision making on a day to day basis. Metro Vancouver does collect odor data, but Smell Vancouver has gone a step further. Making what it collects available online in real time, it also asks app users about what they are smelling and how it's affecting them. What we've done is we've sort of gone beyond and we're focusing on the human experience of odors. App users report all manner of smells, rotten smells, burning smells, chemical odors. Many are related to known sources, such as a landfill or industrial activities. Time of year also affects what people are smelling. Summer months are dominated by rotten odors, while colder months, a mix of burning and chemical odors. People reporting odors to smell Vancouver also reported how they cope with the smells. Most closed a window or turned on an air purifier, while others went inside, made a complaint, some were forced to stop exercising, some tried to mask the smell, while a small percentage avoided the smell by actually moving away. The UBC team has published their initial findings and officials with the regional government are paying attention. It receives up to 4,000 complaints about air quality a year. Many of us who work in technical subjects uh, realize the value of having many on the ground observers being able to provide information and, and that's the, the level of data that we couldn't possibly connect collect with our traditional instrumentation. Metro Vancouver is using so-called citizen science in other ways, tapping into commercially available sensors residents place on their homes that record air quality in places governments cannot. If you look at Metro Vancouver, for example, and there are there are certainly dozens, if not maybe a hundred of these sorts of sensors already out there publicly uh, displaying data. Those behind Smell Vancouver say data like this is critical to understand air quality and pollution. Here's an example of why you should report what your nose picks up on. In January, Smell Vancouver provided unique information for an event that was shrouded in uncertainty. It showed dozens of reports in real time about a strange chemical odor across the region. It was the first meaningful information about an emissions incident at the Burnaby refinery. What you saw is the moment that refinery had a leak, you saw hundreds of complaints coming in to our app, which were well ahead of official notifications or any air quality statements that, you know, for example, the company made or Metro Vancouver made. Smell Vancouver plans to keep going and wants more data to come through its app, especially from people living in poor or more vulnerable neighborhoods. That's so a more complete bouquet of Vancouver's smellscape can be mapped and help with policies that will keep residents breathing easy. Chad Pawson, CBC News, Vancouver.